Hello there, it's Bruce D. Stewart here from freeaffiliatemarketingtraining.com. Today we're going to do a video and the topic is about going into ClickBank and choosing an offer in ClickBank and cloaking, getting the link, retrieving the link and setting up a tracking URL for the link and cloaking it. Okay, so let's get going and I'll go in my trusty robo form and we'll log into Bank, Brilliant Networks, Clickbank over here. We'll bring up Clickbank, goes into Clickbank and we go into, I'll just move the screen up, the recording screen up to the top here. We go into Marketplace. So we click on Marketplace and we're looking for an offer and we could be looking for um, WordPress templates. Let's have a look and see what we find. We're looking for a product, so I've put in there WordPress templates and see what information it brings back for us. Wheels going around. Here we go. Here's a good offer. Come up. I'll just move, highlight these things around. <coughs> And this is WordPress landing page templates. Easily create great looking affiliate sales page, email squeeze page, sales templates, pay-per-click landing pages, JV, JV offer letters, da 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 da. Okay, so that'll do. So what I'll do is I click on that and open it into a new tab. So I right click, open a new tab because I want to bring that part up onto the screen and we'll go back in a sec see it's come up and just move this around wordpress landing page templates okay so that's fine now what i'll do is i'll go into my um, spreadsheet because i do have a spreadsheet you probably don't have a spreadsheet but this is what i use as well so we'll scroll around there and I'll move the screen over a bit and I'll move this up a bit it's a bit better and scroll that around so 9th of the third and I want to go back to the marketplace and this is it here so what I'll do is I copy all this just this section here control C and I'll stick that in and just bring this around here to a notepad and I'll just highlight the title and go back to my spreadsheet and put the title in there this is to keep a record of it and it's WordPress templates just roughly what it is just get rid of that thing out of there and what I do is, just for the records, is I copy and paste that in underneath here. It's Clickbank URL. Okay, and I'll make that number 11. And I'll click that to make it right on the left hand side. Now the owner is Jason Keith. And it, has an, it doesn't have an affiliate page and the sales page URL is that so i copy that as well as well and put that sales page here uh, i just better move this across so we can see where i am put him in there and i'll just make that number 11 again then we go to the important part or just about before i do that i'll go to bring this page up here and because I'm going to highlight all that now and copy it and go back to the spreadsheet I'll just move my frame around it doesn't take long put my cursor in there and right click and open it up and put insert comment and I'll copy and paste control V into there bring that around that's for later on so anytime I want to look just bring that down see how the spreadsheet works I just highlight put my cursor in there and it highlights that and tells me what's in 
the offer. Right, we go back to Clickbank and just click that off there and see how it's got promote here. So I'll go back to this for my sake, for you don't have to be doing this, but you can if you want to. Mine is number 158, so I remember that in my head. I'll just bring the frame around over here because we're going to do something. And I'll click promote, and of course it brings another screen up. So my Clickbank affiliate number is there, and my ID, tracking ID, is 158. And I create the links, the hop links. So there's a hop link. So I put my cursor in there and click it and it highlights it and control C and copy it and then take that back over to my page here, original affiliate URL, put it in there, put the cursor in there and control V which will paste that in there, that's 157, see how you make a mistake sometimes? So I made it 158 so I'll just change that to 158 and then you can miss out to 157. So just move the cursor page over. So we're going to do this other one here as well. So we go back to our page and see it is here. HTML code. Copy it. Come back. I'm going to move things around. Put the cursor in there. Highlight that. Control V and place that in there. So that's all. We've got all our information. So I want to click this to the clipboard, the affiliate URL, because now we're going to go and do some tracking, but I'll copy that and I'll put it on this clip, on this um, text document I've got here, just for now, because we're going to put it in the tracker. So now we're going to go to the tracking system. Okay, I'm just going to show you something else. So I'm going to go out of my affiliate program, that thing there. So I'll click out of that because we're finished. And we go into our browser. Now I'm going to bring up website tracking and it's no it's website tracking and it's the one you can use this one, it's free to use, TE Toolbox. So you just go to tetoolbox.com and find that and um, sign up for it but don't do the paid option just do the free option so I'll bring that up now this is what it does sometimes it comes up with different things for you to do a one-time offer but you don't have to do that or some advertising so now we're going to go to websites this button here click on websites and we're going to create add a tracker okay add a tracker see there's trackers in there so add a tracker and the title of the tracker is WordPress, just do shortened, WordPress temp, templates, and it's this, this is just short, Keith, and I could do an email, I oh, know we do cyclic bank, so I do CB, and it's 158, and I do a dash, and then I'll put 090312 and that's my code and that tells me when I've created the affiliate link and when I've created the tracking and that's the person that's the tracking of it and then I'll go back to my sheet here my board and I'll copy that control C I like and copy it then I'll paste control V paste in there and we save that and it will give us a tracking number now this is a tracker URL so when you do an email you can use this tracking URL instead of the Clickbank one the ugly looking Clickbank one and now you've got a tracked as well as cloaked so I can put, copy that and go back to my spreadsheet and short URL check, tracker and I'll put that in there see how that's running see how that's all running through so if we click on it and put an X in there that cell is clear so I'll put my control V my tracker in there 
and then you'll have your tracker all the time so anytime you go and do a promotion or put it on your website or anything you can go and get your tracker number from in here or else you can get your tracking number from here so that's all you do and um, then you can use that I'll show you how that works that URL see I'll put bring my browser up and I'll bring my screen up and I'm just trying to grab it and I'll put my tracker in there and I'll push enter and it should bring up that page and it does see how it brings up the page right it's all the sales page and everything like that and we will and then the cloaking because it's cloaked under a tracker the URL is sitting in here and not the clickbank URL right so I just bring my frame recording frame back and if I add to cart bring this down here purchase right now click on it to go to clickbank it's $27 product it's a bargain and it's a one-time payment and it's in Australian dollars because I am in Australia and you can pay by a credit card and you can pay by PayPal and I'll just move around down here bring the page right down and down the bottom here it's got my affiliate URL my number plus the ID see the ID 158 okay so that's about all for creating a code cloaking code in the tracker for your clickbank offer which is for this particular product here so this is um I'll close that there christy stewart here from free affiliate marketing training.com signing off now and hope this is a help for you and i'll catch you in another video some other time and thank you very much for watching